Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Tubal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to explore about the finite geometric series? Let's go! Let's do it. Let us identify the common ratio. Question number one. Determine the common ratio of the given geometric sequence to 6, 18, and 54. What do you think is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to 3 because 6 divided by 2 is 3. You may try also 18 divided by 6 that is also equal to 3. And 54 divided by 18 that is also equal to 3. How about number 2? In the given geometric sequence 120, 60, 30, and 15, what do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to 1 half because 60 divided by 120 is 1 half. Again, 30 divided by 60 is 1 half also. 15 divided by 30, the answer is equal to 1 half. Can you check number 3 in the given geometric sequence? What is the common ratio of 5, 20, 80, and 120? What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to 4. Because 20 divided by 5, that is equal to 4. How about number 4 in the given geometric sequence 8, negative 8, 8, negative 8, and 8? What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is negative 1. Because negative 8 divided by 8, that is negative 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Negative divided by positive, that is negative. How about 5? In the given geometric sequence 12, 12, 12, and 12. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to 1 because 12 divided by 12, that is equal to 1. What is finite geometric series? It is the sum of no number of terms in a geometric sequence. Let us get the sum of the first five terms of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Let us try the manual computation. So 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 plus 16 is 30, 30 plus 32, the answer is equal to 62. So the sum of this finite geometric series is equal to 62. The formula to be used if r is not equal to 1, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. It is applicable when the last term is given. How about the second formula? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. It is applicable where the last term is not given. a sub n denotes sum of the n term. a sub n is the n term or the last term. a sub 1 is the first term. n is the number of terms and r is the common ratio. In the given geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, the first term is equal to 2, the last term is 32, and the number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so n is equal to 5. To get the common ratio, we need to divide second term divided by the first term, so 4 divided by 2, or third term divided by the second term, so 8 divided by 4, that is also equal to 2, or fourth term divided by the third term, so 16 divided by 8, that is also equal to 2, 
or we may use the fifth term divided by the fourth term that is 32 divided by 16 that is also equal to 2. So let us identify the sum of this geometric sequence. The value of r is equal to positive 2, so we may use the formula because r is not equal to 1. We may use the two formulas, so let us try the two formulas to compare. Let us try the first formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. Let us replace all the value to the given formula that becomes s sub 5 is equal to the first term that is 2, the last term that is 32, and then the common ratio that is equal to 2, and then 1 minus the common ratio 2. So multiply negative 32 times 2. So that becomes s sub 5 is equal to 2 negative 32 times 2, that is negative 64. 1 minus 2, subtract, that is 1, copy the big sign, that becomes negative 1. Subtract 2 minus 64, that becomes subtract, copy the big sign. So 64 minus 2, that is 62, copy the big sign, that is negative, and then copy negative 1. So the sum of that geometric sequence is S sub 5 is equal to 60. How about if we want to try the second formula? S5 is equal to the first term. The first term is 2 times the quantity 1 minus the common ratio is 2. The number of terms is 5 all over 1 minus the common ratio that is equal to positive 2. So let us expand 2 to the fifth power. So that becomes S5 is equal to 2 times the quantity 1 minus 2 to the 5th power, it means 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 18, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So that becomes 1 minus 32. All over, 1 minus 2, the answer is negative 1. Let us subtract inside the parentheses, so that becomes negative 31. And then the rest, copy. And then multiply 2 times negative 31, that is negative 62. And then copy, negative 1. Negative 62 divided by negative 1, the answer is 62. As you compare whatever solution you want, the answer is also 62. But always remember, the first formula is used when the last term is given, while the second formula is used when a sub n is not given. It is applicable if r is not equal to 1. What if if r is equal to 1? The formula to be used is a sub n is equal to n times the first term. What is the sum of the first eight terms of the geometric sequence? As you can see, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. What do you think is the sum? of the first eight terms of the geometric sequence? In a manual computation, you need to add all the terms. So the total, if you add all the terms, the answer is equal to 56 because seven plus seven is 14, plus seven, 21, plus seven, 28, plus seven, 35, plus seven, 42, plus seven, 49, and then plus seven, the answer is equal to 56. If we use the formula, if r is equal to 1, the formula is a sub n is equal to n times the first term. So what is the value of n? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n is equal to 8. Times the first term, the first term is 7. So 8 times 7, so the sum of the 8th term is equal to 56. So whatever solution you want, that is the same answer. How about if r is not equal to 1? So the formula is a sub n is equal to the first term when the sequence is odd. Well, if that is even, the formula is a sub n is equal to 0. So let us try. The geometric sequence 7, negative 7, 7, negative 7, 7, negative 7, 7, and negative 7. The number of terms is equal to 8. 
So if that is 8, let us try if the given common ratio is negative 1. Negative 7 divided by 7, the answer is negative 1. It means the formula, if n is even, that is 8, a sub 8, so the answer is equal to 0. So let us check. Negative 7 plus 7, the answer is equal to 0. Negative 7 plus 7, the answer is also equal to 0. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 7 plus 7 is equal to 0. As you can see, in a manual computation, the answer also is equal to 0. So, as you can see in the given geometric sequence, we have 7 terms. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let us try if the common ratio is negative 1. Second term divided by the first term. So, 7 divided by negative 7. That is negative 1. So, it means the formula, if n is odd number, s of 7 is equal to the first term. That is negative 7. So, let us try in a manual computation. That becomes negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 7 plus 7, that is also equal to 0. Negative 7 plus 7, that is also equal to 0. It means the S sub 7 is equal to negative 7. So what you have learned? Finite Geometric Series So the formula for the finite geometric series, if r is not equals to 1, we have two formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r if the last term is given. While the second formula, a sub 1, times the quantity 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r if a sub n is not given. If r is equal to 1, the formula is a sub n is equal to n times the first term. While r is equal to negative 1, if the given sequence is odd, the formula is a sub n is equal to the first term. While if the given is even, a sub n is equal to 0. Any question about the finite geometric series? I hope you learned something new. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.